Malcolm and uh, Gallinari additions? Uh, it's great, great for our team. Uh, obviously, sad to see your brothers leave, you know, Tyson, Aaron, but, you know, we got better. Um, you know, it's two veteran guys that's uh, proven and, and, and ready to help us, you know, get to that next level. So I'm excited to have those guys. Have you had much communication with either of those guys so far? Uh, reach out. Send them a text message, you know, happy to have you. If you need anything, reach out. Looking forward to getting in the gym. Did Brad or, like, consult you at all? Like heading into the offseason, like kind of get your input on things a little bit? Uh, just kind of told me that, you know, kind of some options that they were looking at, uh, you know, things they were keeping it out of, uh, you know, free agents. Did you offer him any any ideas of players that you wouldn't mind him pursuing or at least kicking the tires around to see if they want to come to Boston? Uh, I mean, yeah, we talked about that a little bit, just uh, some guys that were free agents and, um, you know, kind of what we kind of felt like we needed for the team. Um, but, you know, it was just kind of small talk. Man, crazy. How much more comfortable are you with those type of conversations? Because for young guys, you don't necessarily feel that that's your place, but as you become more, take more ownership of the team, things like that, it seems like you're becoming more comfortable maybe having those talks. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm just I mean, I'm invested in being with the Celtics. So, uh, you know, it's myself, JB, Smart, whoever it is. Just kind of getting our input on, you know, what we think could help us, you know, get over the hump next year. Um, how, things like that. How long does it take to at least move on from from just not coming so close but not being able to seal the deal in the finals? Uh, it takes a long time. I you know, still think about it every day. Uh, so probably until the season start or until we get back to the championship, I guess. How does what happened in the finals kind of shape the way you're going to approach this offseason? Uh, just know how hard it is to get there and how much harder it is to get over that hump. So, you know, you know I got to be better coming in next year, obviously trying to get back. Last two how questions. Do, how do you kind of reflect on, you know, obviously there's frustration and then also looking back and seeing that you guys did take strides and, you know, came within two wins of the title? Uh, I mean, it was a great season. You know, two teams left. Uh, obviously it was tough. We lost, right? We didn't accomplish a goal. And getting there, getting that close and losing is extremely tough, um, knowing how bad we wanted it. So just kind of dealing with that all summer, but, you know, trying to turn the next page and get ready for the next season. Have you had a chance to talk to some of these summer league players, like for the Celtics? And if so, have you given them any words of encouragement? Uh, any words of encouragement? Um, you know, come out here and compete. You know, just some of be a little relaxed and, and loose. Um, you know, because when the season starts, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs>